The Young Thug YSL Rico trial is in a very critical stage right now. Court got canceled for the day after initially being scheduled at 9, then pushed back to 3 p.m., and plea deal negotiations have intensified. It is now confirmed that multiple defendants have sent counter offers to Fonnie Willis. This shit is getting real tense, and there wasn't much of an update today besides they're negotiating. But holy shit is the suspense real boys i'm i've been checking twitter like every 20 minutes to see if it went down or not attorneys from multiple defendants in the ysl rico trial say they're working on plea deals with fulton county district attorney fonnie willis the courtroom was closed to the public today as both sides hammered out the specifics there's been a lot of waiting around outside as we await words on these possible plea deals i spoke with two defense attorneys who say that they made counter offers to da Fonnie's. my question is here which two defense lawyers Lawyer is he talking to? Because apparently it's been very tight lit. So who's talking to this guy at Fox News? Our cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom at all today as the DA's office hammered out these plea deals with multiple defendants. We don't know all of the defendants involved in this potential deal, nor the possible conditions for those pleas. Absolutely expected that these dis This guy looks like a cartoon character. Who is this? What are those glasses? Why would anyone choose to wear those glasses? This would be real, would be meaningful, and would possibly produce big changes in the entire YSL trial. I can't take this guy serious. Listen, the DA's office is looking to put an end to Georgia's longest criminal trial ever. Or reject some of the negotiations have surrounded cr credit for time served and factual acknowledgments in those pleas. Now, a spokesperson for DA Fonnie Willis's office declined to comment. Meanwhile, the judge didn't let us back in for the rest of the day. She ordered everyone back tomorrow morning at 930. Why would that even have to be negotiated? Why isn't credit for time served just mandatory? They've been in jail for two years. Of course, factual acknowledgments is one of them because as you saw in the other pleas with Mung Tung, they want him to admit that he knows they killed Donovan Thomas and that he was aware that YSL committed crimes and sold drugs and the whole nine. So I would imagine Thug is not down for that. Thug is like, I ain't doing no factual acknowledgements like that. Uh-uh. So that's why I have a sneaky suspicion that Thug is not taking a plea deal. I don't see Thug signing a plea where he acknowledges that YSL is a gang that committed crimes. And I don't see the state saying, okay, yeah, we'll give you a plea that doesn't have that. They would look so dumb. The state would look fucking terrible. And I don't think Thug or Brian Seal is going to accept any other term they bring him. And I'd be surprised that they don't force Shannon Stilwell or uh, Quimervius Nichols or Huey or all these other guys to sign factual acknowledgements like that as well because those guys have murder. Well, Huey doesn't, but the other two do. And yeah, Gotti, he has a murder charge, so they're going to force him to sign a factual acknowledgement. That's crazy too. So I don't know, man. It all depends on how much time they're going to give them in prison. So let's see the Twitter discussion here. Multiple defendants are open to taking plea deals and have submitted their counter offers. Now the question is, will the state accept them? No details on specific defendants or offers at this time, just rumors. If I had to guess, Quay would do one because he had a laundry list. I wonder what the jury will think of this though. Based on very little knowledge, and no experience, I do think Huey and Nichols are the two most likely to take pleas. Yak Gaddy, Lil Rod, and Shannon probably least likely. I feel like both Quays haven't been involved in the trial much. At the same time, I don't see the state offering Lil Rod a plea because he's the guy that's really making Thug and everyone look bad. He's already convicted of murder and they're sitting next to all of them. So he's really making them look bad. I know Thug is not taking a plea with this gif. State has to take what it can get, but I wouldn't give him much at all. State has no leverage. They humiliated themselves for months at a trial. I don't think they realize they have no leverage because they still have these guys in fucking jail. I could see the judge denying all the mistrial motions. I don't know. It's up to the state if they want to continue the shit show or not. You think Thug take him on? He definitely has been part of negotiating conversations, so him and his team are open to possibility. Obviously, it comes down to specific terms, though. All right, here's Doug Weinstein. So good afternoon, everybody. We are out of court. Um, I know everybody wants to know what's going on. I totally understand that. And uh, I'm sorry, I'll just tell you at the beginning, I can't really tell you what's going on. Um, I think that um, if you've been watching the case, you could have some idea of what's happening right now. But I just ask you to continue to have patience, continue to support the guys, um, support us um, as we work our way through what we are working on right now um and just stay tuned um we'll see what happens tomorrow and hopefully um well we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow so see y'all again tomorrow see the way he just worded that where he was about to say hopefully and hopefully it makes it seem like 
they ain't accepting a plea and they're going to hope and pray the judge is going to grant a motion for mistrial. That's my vibe. Maybe y'all would think he's saying, hopefully the state accepts our plea deal. I get the vibe they're waiting for the judge to grant a motion for mistrial. This is off topic, but remember this absolute disaster from the state here. <laughs> the state says Thug said 24M on an M word head. He was talking about putting a bounty or hit on someone for $24 million when he literally was not. He was talking about Lil Uzi's fucking diamond. He got fucking put on his forehead that apparently was $24 million, which I doubt it really wasn't $24 million, but there is a photograph <coughs> next to YSL rule the world kid 24M on an N's head. There's a photograph. If you click on it, it is the rapper with the surgically implanted pink diamond in his forehead. The police bury this. The prosecution buries this. I will show it to you. Now, the evidence will show. They may say, oh, we're sorry. We may say, there's no mistakes here. This is a big deal. This is a bill of indictment in Fulton County, Georgia in 2023. That is misrepresenting. You will learn. You will see it. It has nothing to do with put a contract on someone's life. That's the evidence that's coming at you. Slime rule the world. I believe it. Y'all is out there spending 24 million on their heads. They can put 24 M on the front of their head. Y'all, y'all hold, get in line. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? That was one of the biggest embarrassments of the state. I mean, this whole thing has been an embarrassment, but also remember when the judge said this about the free Quay hashtag, remember that? And she was already downplaying it. That's why I think she will deny the motion for a mistrial if it comes to it. Listen to what she says right here. I don't think it is really that, you know, much of a crisis because there is gonna be this stipulation that, you know, Quay is not always either of these defendants. So, nor is it obvious to everybody that free, you know, free whomever is such a quote about who knows, you know, everything these days. And so it doesn't necessarily indicate that whomever Quay is, Quay spent time in jail or in custody or in prison or anything. What? Yes, it does. Free whoever means they're in jail or were in jail. What is Judge Whitaker yapping about? You know, Hollywood stars who are in a breakup. I mean, it's it's a really, it's not so obviously, oh, this must mean this person was in prison. But also we were already saying. Yapping. I know y'all are tripping looking at two of me right now, but basically that's laughable because they've already explained to the jury about the free Roscoe shirts. Remember all that? Roscoe shot up Lil Wayne's bus and all the YSL people were putting out free Roscoe merch. They've already explained to them that free Roscoe means free Roscoe out of jail, the guy who shot up Lil Wayne's bus. So the jury already knows hashtag free whoever means they were in fucking jail. So the judge is just straight up wrong there. I don't know if it's because she forgot or if she wasn't here for that part of the trial, maybe. I don't remember if she was here for that part of the trial during the Lil Wayne situation, but my final prediction here is Thug ain't taking no plea deal. But if he does, I'll respect it. I don't care. If he wants to get out of jail and live his life, fully respect that. But I don't think he's going to take a plea deal because he's not going to agree to any of these factual acknowledgements, in my opinion. And at one point, they said they want him in there for life. They weren't going to offer him plea deals. So I don't know, man. Comment down below what you guys think. This is an absolute embarrassment still. We'll see you tomorrow. Hit subscribe. I love you guys. Peace out.